Hi, welcome to Trauma-Informed Leadership with Ignite in the community. My name is Mandy Cordes, and if we haven't met, welcome. And um, I just a little bit about me. I am the president and founder of Shift Solutions, an organization that provides trauma-informed leadership to improve workplace culture and ultimately improve retention. Um, this month with Ignite in the Community, the theme is more equality, more hope, more pride, and more love. And what better theme to talk about trauma-informed leadership than this one? Um, we are going to zoom in on one of the six areas of influence in trauma-informed leadership. So just a little refresher course, there are six areas of influence in trauma-informed leadership. So if you think of these like pieces of a treasure map, where only if you only have one piece or only have some pieces, you're not going to quite get to the treasure, which is ultimately a really great place um, environment, workplace, home, wherever you're leading. So you really need all six to kind of get that full picture and get to that treasure. Um, those six are safety, trustworthiness, peer support, collaboration, and empowerment. And then the one that we're going to talk about today is diversity. So diversity area of influence can be defined as understanding and acknowledging the presence of bias or how we see things and increased challenges when part of a marginalized population and implementing organization-wide or home-wide or wherever you're leading practices to promote safety and equity. One thing I just really quick want to touch on is the difference between equality and equity. Equality is everybody gets the same support. Equity is everybody gets the support to meet their needs. So if you were to think of like a fence, let's say that fence is five feet tall. If I'm six foot two, I'm not going to need any help seeing over that fence. But if I'm four foot, I'm going to need a couple of feet on a footstool to help me see over that fence. It wouldn't make sense if my friend who's 6'2 also got a two foot footstool because we don't need the same things because we have different needs and that's what equity is. It's all about assessing the needs of each individual and each population and making sure that the supports are in place for their needs. Um, so to kind of dive into strategies on how we can implement diversity into our leadership, the first thing is to really be mindful of your language. So we want to just be aware and acknowledge the fact that language is very fluid. So what is appropriate today won't be appropriate maybe in a year and wasn't appropriate maybe two years ago and vice versa. So we just want to be aware that language is ever evolving. And in order to be an effective leader, we want to make sure that we're researching and aware of what is acceptable and what isn't. Um, a little story from, from my past. Um, I was leading an initiative and wanted to put pronoun preference on, a, on an intake form. And I was notified that that is not the term that we use anymore. Instead of preferred pronouns, which was the acceptable term um, not too long ago, it's now just pronouns because we don't choose what our pronouns are. They are who we are and it's not a preference. It's who we are, which makes sense. But I just wasn't aware, and so I was able to be open-minded and hear the the change that needed to happen, and, and we changed it. So just really be mindful of language and the fact that it's fluid. And then that kind of lends itself to really being aware that everybody has a bias. Now, bias can be kind of a loaded word sometimes, but ultimately what it means is that you have 
unique experiences from how you grew up, who you grew up around, the ethnicity and race that you are, the gender that you are, all of those pieces kind of compile into a lens on how you see things. So we just want to be aware that everybody has a different lens and that lens needs to not be stagnant in order to be an effective leader. So we just, as we take in information, we want to change the way that we see things and be um, someone with a growth mindset like we talked about last time. And also just be aware that not everyone is going to see things the same way as you. And that really is kind of a very light touch on, on bias. So just knowing that you see things differently and that it's okay to get it wrong as long as you are open to learning from everybody around you. Um, the next thing that would be a really great strategy for diversity in trauma-informed leadership would be to create an environment where issues are addressed in the moment as often as possible. That looks like providing language if someone's uncomfortable with the way that another person is acting, with creating a safe space and safe expectations that nobody is going to be marginalized or hurt in an environment so that they feel like they can go to a superior or say something in the moment. Um, that also looks like there are multiple ways to communicate an uncomfortable situation or a conflict around um, maybe somebody who is being treated unfairly or differently because of their race, gender, um, sexual preference, uh, anything that they any anything that they bring to the table. Um, those multiple ways of communication can be through email, through anonymous email, through HR, through directors, through your superiors. And then in the home, it can look like having conversations with the people in your home on what is acceptable and what isn't in your home. In our home, my kiddos and I, we've talked about how everybody is welcome. And we don't use words that would make someone feel like they have to shrink who they are. So we we don't use slurs. We don't use um, any kind of slang. We embrace those things. And we also are really mindful of other people's pronouns. So my kiddos know that not everyone has a he, him pronoun. Not everyone has a she, her pronoun. And not everyone even has a they, them pronoun. It's really a personal decision and that we need to respect as we welcome someone into our home and as we welcome each other into our home. So that's kind of a breakdown on a few strategies. So really quick to just kind of recap. Um, diversity is an area of influence in trauma-informed leadership. It is about implementing practices to promote safety and equity. And some of those strategies include being mindful of language use, getting curious about um, new learnings and growth, owning and acknowledging your bias, and creating an environment where issues are addressed in the moment as often as possible. Um, if you have any other questions or comments or feedback, I'd love to hear them. Um, you are welcome to find me on Facebook at Shift Solutions or on our website at shiftsolutionsmn.com. And I will see you later in this month as we talk more about more love, more hope, more pride, more equality. Have a great day.